First and foremost, I want to cover off Tiger Muay Thai. Great place, very busy. It is the largest training facility for Muay Thai here along the fit, like along Fitness Street. They've got beginner, intermediate, advanced classes, pro level classes. Good afternoon everybody, it is Brad here, Robin as well, shooting this video at Coco Retreat here, Phuket, Thailand. I wanted to shoot this video because I want to give everyone some preparation tips for training at Tiger Muay Thai. It's actually the end of our trip here, we've been here for three weeks and I thought I'd shoot a video for everybody that's wanting to come to Tiger Muay Thai or even any gym or Muay Thai training centre along the street. I call it the fitness street. So if you want to train a dragon or top team or TNY or Chop Chai, you know, or top team, I think I mentioned, but specifically Tiger Muay Thai, these tips are going to be helpful for you to help you prepare. So if you need to, pause the video, rewind, take notes, do whatever you got to do. Um, and then if you come out here, let me know, because I've already met a few of you watching these videos in this series already. It's been amazing, and I hope to meet more of you in the future. So, let's go. Um, with Tiger Muay Thai, I've trained a tiger before. Robsy trained there for the first time three weeks ago. She had the best time. Never ever doing Muay Thai in her life was the first time. Uh, we shot separate videos on her privates and go and check those out if you want to see what it was like for her as a female training for the first time. But um, she absolutely loved it. So, first and foremost, I want to cover off Tiger Muay Thai great place, very busy. It is the largest training facility for Muay Thai here along the fit, like along Fitness Street. They've got beginner, intermediate, advanced classes, pro level classes, BJJ, MMA, um, all sorts of like strength and conditioning classes. The list goes on and on and on. Go and check out their timetable. But we've predominantly been doing the beginner and intermediate classes. Beginner and me, they've kept they kept pushing me into the intermediate class, even though, even though I feel like I'm a beginner at many levels. So, anyway, so you must keep this in mind. If you're training out here, it's very, very hot. So the first thing that we suggest you do is electrolytes. Yes, definitely. So you can actually buy, and I'll throw it up on your screen. You can buy electrolytes from the pharmacy along Fitness Street. And usually we've been taking no more than about four of them per day, four sachets per day. And you can buy them from the pharmacy. And it's essential if you're training like one, two, four hours a day to keep your electrolytes super high. Um, it's very easy to get dehydrated here and you sweat like crazy. Even if you're not training, you sweat in the shower. That's how hot it is here. So keep your electrolytes high. The ones that we've been taking are a D-Light. I'll throw it up on the screen so you can see exactly what to look for when you go into the pharmacy and buy them. We've actually been buying D-Light in the box, so it costs 250 baht, and you get, I think, 50 sachets in a box from memory. So just keep that in mind, electrolytes. And also, if you, um, if you have access to um, uh, coconuts, if you drink a lot of coconuts during the day, they're a natural form of an electrolyte. She loves coconuts. Yeah, and it's Thailand, so you'll you'll get them everywhere. Oh yeah, and coconuts um, cost 50 baht each, which is one Australian dollar each. Right, for giant, amazing coconuts, amazing, amazing. So just drink them whenever you can. And then you, you eat, really the, and then and then you eat the and then you eat the meat out of the inside of the coconut. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Um, Overtraining is very, very easy to do here. I've done it before, even when I've shot these videos in this series. Um, for the purpose of shooting videos, I've done more than two or three classes a day just to get the content to show everybody what it's like. But typically, you I mean, you wouldn't want to be doing any more than you know two hours, three hours, like two hours of training a day. You know, otherwise it's just too much. A lot of people come out here, they train way too much. They don't get enough calories. They don't, they starve themselves. They don't eat enough. And I've I've made this mistake myself as well. 
and uh, and just and literally this happened to me two days ago where I forgot to eat and I went into my training session and I was just not focused I was foggy headed and it was just a shit training session it did I didn't like it I will even put that video out so everyone can see how bad it was but it's easy to do and it's just something to keep in mind it's a common thing that the coaches talk about out here is overtraining and just how often it is that a lot of people um, overtrain out here so just keep that in mind um, and it's by the way when you with Tiger Muay Thai and you do the all-inclusive fitness package and you look at the time schedule and you see that there's like 10 classes 12 classes a day you want to make you want to get the best value for your money and you want to do every single class and I respect that but the truth is that you're going to be overtraining if you do that you just want to take it easy especially in this heat you know it's very easy to overtrain you get excited you want to do everything right you want to do that 8 or 10 Muay Thai class then you want to do ambush and then you want to do hardcore and then you want to do a private you know one hour hardcore session and then you want to do the afternoon then you want to do yoga at night and then by the end of it you've done six hours of training and at the end of your three week or four week vacation you have you know shrink down to nothing because you've lost a bunch of muscle mass oh well, you get an injury yeah because you're not you're not um, training to your capability level and then then you can't train at all the next one is a basic first aid kit um, I wouldn't what I suggest is if you have an injury and like when you come out here and you train it's very common to have some kind of injury like whether you you know you know strip some skin off your knuckles you know or you you know do something else like you tear a muscle or something like that um, all you need to do is literally just go into a pharmacy here on fitness street and you show them your injury and they'll literally sort you out right I literally I was bleeding out of my knuckles I was bleeding and I walked into the pharmacy and I did this and she goes mm, like that mm. and then she walked away and she came back and she had antibacterial cream a cleansing this a, a couple of wipes some band-aids and everything and she sort and for a couple of hundred bucks she sorted me out so um, either bring a first aid kit from home like a basic first aid kit antibacterial cream um, some band-aids and stuff like that uh, and then and you'll be fine or you can just go to the pharmacy here and buy it that's it. Hand wipes. I always seem to be talking about... <laughs> she loves hand wipes. Hand wipes. <laughs> Travelling in hand wipes. Um, they're very useful if you are actually renting the gloves. Um, unless you decide to buy your own, which is probably cost effective if you're staying here for three weeks. Um, but if you are renting them, it's advisable to carry the, the hand wipes around with you because what tends to happen is you'll do a training session, you'll be absolutely like annihilated, and then you have to go and get a coconut and a meal, and you're in a restaurant, and you just use the gloves. And so, yeah, you just wanna keep on top of that, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's a good pickup. I've never done it before. I've gone straight from training, you know, with like sweaty wraps, straight to eating a meal. And I know some people watching this will freak out, but I mean, I've done it, like I've gone, from, and hand wipes, hand wipes <laughs> is a smart idea. Yeah. You know, staff infections is, is, is very real, so. Uh, the next one, uh, private classes versus group classes. When you're training at Tiger Muay Thai, uh, obviously group classes is what you're paying for, and then if you do the private classes, you pay extra for that. Um, just keep that in mind. It's actually really good, really beneficial to do private classes. Um, when you're doing a group class, it's like any fitness group class, like you're just not gonna get the same level of attention. So when you're doing a private class, you're paying extra for it, but you're getting that one-on-one -on -one attention. And we found massive value from doing private classes. If you've seen any of the videos, there are a lot of private classes that we've had with different trainers, different training centers, around Fitness Street and it's been absolutely worth every 700, you know, every baht. It's worth every baht. Like we pay like 600 baht or 700 baht, you know, for a training session, but it's really, really worth it. Um, they focus on your technique a lot. When you're in a group class at Tiger Muay Thai, the group classes are pretty big. Like I'm just gonna warn you folks, like the beginner and intermediate classes, especially early in the week, are huge. There's like 15, 20, 25, 30 people sometimes in these classes and you're just not gonna get, you're not gonna get the same level of one-on-one -on -one care. So just keep that in mind. Almost every night, you know, every second night, there's a fight somewhere around this area. 
So just you can get tickets from Tiger Muay Thai, the trainers sell them, you know, they sell them on the street. Little vans drive past and they you have know, this funny music and then they sell them, you know, the, they promote it and everything. So it's very easy to find tickets for that. The next one, uh, Days Off. Do you want to talk about Days Off? Ugh, they are vital. I mean, training, well, we train like six days a week. And um, yeah, you actually have to get away and rest and go and eat big meals and go to the beach and relax and swim. Because if you don't let your body recover, um, you're gonna be very tired. No training anywhere on Sunday, on the whole street. No matter where you go, there's no one training anywhere. Gyms are closed. So what everybody does is they go to the beach or they go to Pee Pee Island or they hire a scooter uh, and then cruise to like Kata Beach, Kata Noir, Patong or somewhere like that and it's absolutely essential you need it after six days of training as Rob said you've just wrecked your body needs the recovery um, especially if you're overtraining as mentioned you know you definitely need more recovery than other people that are not overtraining um, so just keep that in mind that Sunday is a good rest day and you need, really need to make the most of it have a few cocktails and relax the next one is scooter hire um, scooter hire you can hire scooters if you're like you can hire scooters anywhere along Fitness Street, um, you can hire them from Tiger Muay Thai directly. I found the cheapest. And I'm going to throw this up on the screen, but the cheapest scooter hire that I found was at uh, for uh, on a week to week basis was at A and J, and I'll throw it up and I'll give you the little map. 300 baht per day at 1,200 baht per week. So if you plan on coming here for a month, two, three months, definitely worth getting a scooter on a week to week or a month to month basis. You'll pay about 1200 baht, which is, which is how much? 40, 40, 50 Australian dollars a week for a scooter. And then if you want to buy fuel for it, um, then you'll pay a, about 40. It's, it's, yeah, two bottles is 80. Yeah, so it's about 40 baht per bottle. The bottles are about one liter. Yeah, one litre bottles. One litre bottles for 40 baht, which is... But I also want to say, like, if you if you arrive after a long flight and you get to your hotel and you don't have time to, you know, you have to get to Soitaid from wherever you are, if you're far away, you can rent scooters through the hotel. It's no problem at all. It's really easy to arrange that. Yeah, so, I mean, you can either hire the scooter from Tiger Muay Thai or you can hire them from this hotel, this place we're staying at, Coco Retreat. We're, we're hiring our scooter here for six days for 250 baht per day, which is really good. Um, or you can just go to a place and hire it off the street on Fitness Street, it's up to you. But if you're only here for a couple of days, don't bother. But if you're here for a week or more, then definitely hire a scooter. It's much cheaper than a taxi. Guys, taxis are ridiculously expensive. Between us. <laughs> um, on-site accommodation. Now, I did a separate video on what the accommodation facil facilities look like at Tiger Muay Thai. Um, they have on-site and they have off-site accommodation. Um, look, I, I know a guy, I met a guy who's staying on-site. It gets noisy from about six o'clock in the morning. You know, if you're not a morning person, you want to sleep in till eight, nine, and 10. Um, probably not a good idea, or even if you do it, have earplugs. Um, it's basically when the first class starts, they have the music pumping, and so that's gonna wake you up at six o'clock in the morning. But if you don't care, if you wake up at 5.30 to do yoga or whatever it is, you'll be fine. Otherwise, there's off-site accommodation that Tiger offer as well. Or you can just stay, for us, for example, we've been staying, you know, we've stayed here for six days, we've stayed at four other places, we've done separate videos on those other places, check them out. Um, and that's how you can do it also. So you don't have to stay on site, you can stay. And by the way, there's plenty of accommodation along Fitness Street, off Fitness Street. Uh, we're staying at Coco Retreat. It's a street away from Tiger Muay Thai. There's, you can't go wrong. There's accommodation everywhere around Tiger Muay Thai. So I'll throw the little map up to give you an idea. The next one is, so equipment hire. So gloves, mouth guards, shin guards, We'll talk about that. So it's, it's, some of you have asked me about, you know, like, can you buy gloves and, and wraps and mouth guards and shin guards here? Yes, you can. Um, you can get your pants. If you want to get the Muay Thai shorts, you can get them custom made. 
I did a separate video on that. It's freaking awesome. I had my name in Thai script on my Thai, on my Muay Thai shorts. Uh, I, do, I do a separate video on how to get that done, where to get that done. But if you're just out here for training and you haven't got anything, I know some of you have messaged me straight off the plane, you have no gear, then there are gear shops everywhere. Gloves, uh, expect to pay around 2,000 baht for a set of gloves. Uh, for wraps, you can pick up wraps for as cheap, the, the cheapest I found is 250 baht at Thai Boxer, Thai Boxer Clothing. There's, so this, this street has everything you need, everything you need. So if you get injured by the off chance, there's a physiotherapist. There are supplement stores here. You can literally get, if you are someone that, you know, you're into weight training or strength training and you have protein supplements that you take and you run out, you can easily go to any of the supplements, three supplement stores that I know of here and you can buy, you know, whey protein, creatine, you can buy any kind of stuff, like anything you want, you can buy them here. Um, you can, there's a really cool frozen yogurt place here. If you love your frozen yogurt, it's called Yummies. It's really amazing. Uh, we've even done it's it. It's addictive. It's addictive, like it's really good. Yeah. A lot of fighters and trainers, people training like around here, you know, after a hard training session, it's great to go into like, you know, you have all your good food, like your, you know, your greens and your like grilled chicken and stuff. But afterwards, it's really nice to have a nice piece, nice little bit of frozen yogurt. It's really good. Um, there's a really good massage place here. Separate, done a separate video on that. Um, absolutely amazing. A lot of the fighters, people training here, go to that particular place. I'll throw it up on the screen. Um, the next one is getting laundry done. It is so damn cheap to get laundry done here. It's about 40 baht per kilogram. Anywhere along the street, a lot of people do it. Um, our hotel does it for about 50 baht a kilo. Um, so you never have to worry about laundry. It's basically $1 a kilo, right? It's, it's nothing. The next one is getting a SIM card. Uh, Sui Taid or, or Fitness Street has changed in the last six months a lot. You can actually get a tourist SIM from a little booth. I'll show you a photograph of where to find it. There's a booth and you can get a tourist SIM uh, where you can like, you know, have a local SIM card and have crazy internet access and, and whatever else. But to be honest with you, you really don't need it because everywhere along here has free Wi-Fi. Um, this time, usually when I come to Thailand, I get the SIM card, but this time around I haven't because almost every restaurant and training place has free Wi-Fi that you can use. The next one is, okay, I'm going to rattle this off really quickly, but if you ever come and train at Tiger Muay Thai or any other place like fitness boot camp, like, you know, Titan Fitness or anywhere else, then check out these restaurants. Note them down very carefully. Uh, but we will also go into more detail about what we've eaten and what we've had at each of these restaurants as well. There's Thai Thai, right? Thai Thai, amazing local Thai food, super cheap. You must go and check it out. Local family operated business. You know, they have their kids running around, but a lot of guys go there. You don't have to worry about getting food poisoned. I've never been sick. No one that I've known that's gone there that's ever been sick there. It's a great little place. It's on Fitness Street. You must check it out. Thai Thai. Write that down. The next one is Tony's Restaurant. If you spend enough time on this street, then everybody will talk about Tony's Restaurant. Amazing. Cheap food, grilled chicken, steamed vegetables, the whole lot, coconuts. Like, it's the best. Like, Tony's is one of my favorite. It's one of the cheapest along here, and it's also one of the best, in my opinion. You're making me hungry talking about all of this. <laughs> Ali's, Ali's Barbecue. Ali's Barbecue is another place. It's really amazing, really good for a, a nice, small social group gathering. Okay, everybody, we're at Ali's Barbecue right now. It's pissing down with rain, as you can see behind us. And I'm with this one right here, Mandy from Melbourne. We met last year, August, here on this street training Muay Thai at Tiger Muay Thai. And now... We don't meet up in Melbourne at all. That's right. We just meet here in Thailand. We've never met in our home city, only here. Go and check it out. They have an outdoor barbecue, flame style barbecue thing going on. And it's on the same street. Amazing place. Go and check it out. They do incredible chicken skewers um, and, and salmon skewers. I think it really, really... Go and check it out. They've got big screen TVs. Like a, everything, like bamboo, it's great. Go and check it out. It's called, it's called Ali's Barbecue. Next one is Pure Vegan. Really, really amazing place. <laughs> You've been there two or three times already. 
The falafel bowl and the Mexican bowl is probably our favorites. What else have we had? We had the, the uh, sweet potato gnocchi. Oh yeah. Which was just absolutely delicious too. Amazing. And you pay like four or five dollars a bowl. I'm well, not even that. Like Aussie dollars, isn't it? It's crazy. So it's called Pure Vegan on the same street. Can't miss it, same street. Next one is Cocoville Restaurant. Did you want to talk about Cocoville Restaurant? Uh, we've been going there every morning for breakfast. They have the most insanely delicious oatmeal pancakes spread with peanut butter, protein shakes. They even have a, a carrot cake protein shake. I mean, it's so creative. It's so delicious, absolutely delicious. You have great Wi-Fi there, so you go in the morning, you have your coffee, you have your oatmeal pancake or even omelets. Um, toast, peanut butter, and you're set for the day. It's so nice to start your day there. Cocoville restaurant's the best, we guys. It. We, we, it's one of our favorites, so yeah. we probably put that near the top. Yeah. Uh, the next one is called The Shack. Uh, it's another, again, The Shack is like um, very pure vegan ish, so like raw protein balls and that kind of stuff. I'll throw up some clips so you can see what it looks like. There's a surfboard out the front. It looks really, really nice. Go inside. The food is amazing. Go and check it out. It's called The Shack. Same street. The next one is Tiger Grill, a little bit more expensive, uh, but again, great food, like sweet potato. Particularly if you're like, so exhausted from fighting and you need something quickly, like, which happens often, yeah, it's, it's right there. Exactly, so when you finish your training session mm -hmm. at Tiger, it's very convenient. You Take just- at night. That's right. At night. You just walk straight to the grill, it's like a two second walk. It's within Tiger Muay Thai training center itself. So Tiger Grill, um, Gretzi, it's another awesome vegan place. Check it out. Rob's here. I'll show you some stuff of when I. I'll show you some photos when I was there. Amazing place. Check it out. Trooper Eats was called Muscle Bar. Now has been changed to Trooper Eats. Um, don't know what they have because they haven't yet finished the the renovation yet. But um, I'm sure it's going to be like maybe similar to Muscle Bar. I don't know that for sure. They haven't finished renovating yet so if you come here and they've got it finished then you can tell me what it's like the last one is coco hut another great place go and check it out biggest protein shakes of your life yeah you want like giant coconut size <laughs> friggin protein Natural. shakes it's the biggest one i've ever seen like, like a fish bowl man it's like a fish Huge. bowl of protein yeah. um a lot of these restaurants have vegan and gluten-free options if you're a celiac along those lines then there'll be definitely something on the menu at any one of these places to, to cater for you. Um, and protein shake bars on the street, amazing. Little tiny shacks, there's probably about half a dozen of them. And you can literally just roll up, pay 80 baht, and get a freaking amazing protein shake on the street, on Fitness Street. And that's it, so I'm gonna roll, wrap this up. Do you have any other things you no, wanna add? No, I think you pretty much. <laughs> pretty much covered a lot there. Sorry I'd for say. the long video, it's probably 20 <laughs> minutes, but anyway, it's everything you need to know. And if I can think of anything else, I'll add it below in the description. I'll, I'm actually gonna write a little handbook, a little PDF guide. I'll chuck everything in there as well. Robsy's here, Pilates and artist. Yep, that's me. All right, check her out as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you know she's she's a cool she's a cool character so um she's cool she's cool I love her watermelon leggings they're pretty amazing I'm gonna be wearing a lot more of those leggings anyway you're gonna, you're gonna see them in a video if you love fashion and shopping awesome. they got they got that on this street too last six like in the last six months this street has really transformed a lot I've been coming here for about a year and a half now two years I've been here maybe four or five times maybe four times Amazing place, I'm gonna come back here. It's been three weeks. I'm gonna wrap this up again. Hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you have any questions. Rob Z, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. And we're I'm so coming. glad, I'm and so glad I came. I'm, I'm, I'm really sad to leave actually. First timer. Sure, it's amazing guys, you gotta come here. You gotta come here. Yeah. All right, have an awesome day and see you in another video. Bye-bye.